in derivative we know if u and v are two functions in product then derivative of u and v with respect to x is given by u into dv by dx that is derivative of second term plus v into du by dx but in integration there is a no rule for product of two functions of x but we have uh, provided with one method is called by parts method if u and v are two terms then product of u and v integrated by this method there is a condition for using this method as u is a differentiable functions that mean the first term or first function is uh, we uh, uh, the first function is always differentiable and v is a integrable function that mean we have to know the integration of second term then and then only we can apply this method okay so remember this condition now in derivative we know uh, we take product rule as a first term constant derivative of second term plus second term constant derivative of first term that means we have take uh, taken derivative of both the function but in by parts method as you see here we take the integration in two parts as first part is a simple as first term taken outside integration okay and integration of second term is taken only that means u into integration of v dx now second part is a very important as you see here there is a integration of actually the second part put it, it into bracket as derivative of first term that is u into integration of second term v and the product of this is again integrated with respect to x okay so by parts method of u and v integration of product of u and v is given by in two parts and these two parts are subtracted in first part first function is a constant as it is outside integration and integration of in product integration of second function is taken and in second part we take product of derivative of first function and integration of second function and this product is again integrated okay and the first function u is always differentiable and second function v is a integrable the order of these functions u and v that is first or second we use a rule called l r a t e rule as you understand l for logarithmic function i for inverse trigonometric function a for algebraic function t for trigonometric function e for exponential function which are are our standard function as we know differentiable functions are uh, the, all these functions are differentiable that mean the u is on left hand side that mean each of this function can taken on left hand side but on right hand side we have to decide it only we have to define only integrable function as we know logarithmic and inverse functions are only differentiable functions they are not integrable as standard integration of these functions are not given so it means that we have to take always logarithmic and inverse function on left hand side that means they should be first functions always okay so order is taken by l i a t in short we always take logarithmic or inverse function as a differentiable function or first term in by parts method i is equal to integration of x into e raised to x dx as you can observe here there is a product of terms of x in which x is a actually x has a power of 1 so it is called power functions or algebraic functions and e raised to x is a exponential function as you know this is a product of algebraic and exponential function by taking by parts method we must define first order of the function as we know logarithmic or inverse trigonometric functions are always in first otherwise there is no need of checking order so we take the integration here by parts uh, integrating by parts method as here first term is a one x and second term is is e raised to x in by parts first part in first part we take first term outside integration so x remain as it is in integration we get e raised to x dx then so in second part we take derivative of first term multiplied by integration of second term and this product is again integrated with respect to x and these two parts are subtracted so we take first minus sign and remember the sequence integration of bracket always 
first part then minus sign integration of bracket and in bracket we take the second part as derivative of first term we have to operate d by dx so derivative of x with respect to x multiplied by integration of second term e raised to x dx bracket complete as this bracket is integrated so we have to multiply it by this operator dx this is a by parts actually now we are going to simplify this now we know x remain as it is as it is out of integration and integration of e raised to x is always e raised to x then minus integration of bracket as we simplify first part similarly we take simplification of second part but before that we take minus integration of bracket now derivative of x is always one and integration of e multiplied by integration of e raised to x is a e raised to x see the simplification now we have to simplify this bracket which have to integrate it now in first part it remains as it is minus now e raised to x into 1 is e raised to x so we take bracket out so in integration we get only e raised to x and finally we get x e raised to x minus integration of e raised to x is a e raised to x see we take integration of se for second function here but constant of integration we should put after completion of integration so we take last plus c i is equal to integration of x into sin 2x as there is a product so we again integrate this by parts actually first function is x second function is a sin of 2x so in first part take x outside integration and in integration we take second part sin second function sin 2x uh, integrated with respect to x so multiplied by this then minus integration of bracket now second part as a derivative of first term that is derivative of x with respect to x so d by dx operated on x into integration of second term as integration is a sin 2x multiplied by dx and this bracket is again integrated with respect to x so multiplied by dx okay the by parts is completed now simplification as x remain as it is integration of sin is always minus cos but here coefficient of x is my uh, 2 so sin integration of sin 2x will be minus cos 2x divided by 2 minus integration of bracket now simplification of second part as x is a, a derivative of x is always 1 so we take it as 1 and integration of sin 2x again minus cos of 2x divided by 2 bracket complete into this now we have to simplify this bracket product and uh, this bracket and take its integration here in first term minus x into cos of 2x divided by 2 r as they are in product term r product and now this minus in bracket came outside outside integration so integ sign of integration will change the integ sign of integration will be plus and 2 is, is a constant in denominator so we take 1 by 2 and in integration we get only cos of 2x into this as we simplify this now finally minus x cos of 2x divided by 2 remain as it is plus 1 by 2 and integration of cos is always sign integration of cos 2x as coefficient of x is 2 is sin 2x divided by 2 plus c integration of x into log of x as this is a product but as we see here the product contain logarithmic term and we know logarithmic term is always on left or it is for differentiable function only so we change the order of this product so we get integration of log of x into x dx as we define this by rule called lrat now integrating this by parts okay so first part log x is outside integration we take integration of x with respect to x minus integration of bracket now second part now derivative of log of x so we have to operate d by dx on log of x so we put derivative of log of x with respect to x multiplied by integration of x as a second function with respect to x and this bracket is multiplied by this so by parts is completed so simplification only now log of x remain as it is now integration of x is always x square divided by 2 as it is a power having 1 so increase power by 1 minus integration of bracket now second part derivative of log of x is 1 by x and integration of x as we seen x square by 2 bracket complete into d now simplify this bracket as this terms remain as it is as x square by 2 into log of x we generally in algebra we take log of x into x square as x square into log of x all uh, in algebra we take algebraic function on left and then logarithmic function but 
in by parts we have to take logarithmic function first and then algebraic or trigonometric or exponential function as we did he here now we have to simplify this bracket as x get cancelled and 2 in denominator is a constant so it take outside integration 1 by 2 in integration it remain only x and finally we take the integration of x so x square by 2 log of x remain as it is 1 by 2 and integration of x is again x square by 2 plus c